hi guys what is up welcome back i hope everybody watching is doing well i hope you guys are all taking care of yourselves if you guys are looking to purchase a personal rating those are in the description box if they're out of stock or if they're not available you can email me or you can message me on etsy and i will go ahead and set you up with a reading in the future if it takes me a while to get back you guys i promise i will get back to you i'm just extremely busy so today's pick a card you guys is going to be a card on what is coming up next for you in love i'm very excited to get started you guys this is for people in relationships people who are also single um and as always, we are not sugarcoating this. This is your reminder that tarot is a divination tool. It's an intuitive practice. So take what resonates, leave what does not. With that, here's a clip of the piles right now. All right, you guys, these are the three piles. We have group one with the black tourmaline, group two with the desert rose, and group three with the tooth. If you guys need a moment to meditate on which pile is calling your name, you guys are free to do that right now. And if you want to pick more than one pile, you guys are always welcome to do so. Also, this is my tooth, so don't worry so you guys now that you've picked your pile please go ahead and check out my description box for the timestamps for when your individual reading will start and with that my love i will just see you in your reading hello group number one welcome to your guys's reading let's go ahead and get started can i please get a message on what's coming up next in love for group number one hmm so sorry you guys we have the eight of pentacles school Three of Wands, Expansion, Seven of Pentacles, Work, Eight of Wands, or sorry, not Eight of Wands, Eleven of Wands. That is the Page, and then the Twelve of Cups. The Twelve of Cups is the Queen. What? The Knight. I'm so sorry, it's the Knight. So. Mm -hmm. All right. We've got the Eight of Pentacles group one and the Eight of Pentacles essentially is talking about doing something over and over and over again. So whatever is going on in your love life, for those of you who are single, I would envision this as somebody who is very persistent, somebody who is willing to put in the time, energy and effort, baby, someone who is willing to say, you know what, you've rejected me 10 times, but I still like, you know, we don't like that. We're not, we're, we're not about that in 2023. Um, so not that, <laughs> but essentially this would be the energy of doing something over and over and over again until we get it perfect. Um, repetitive energy. I want to understand what we are repeating, what we are doing over and over again. 12 of wands. This is the night passion. Passion over and over and over again. This is also quick. So it'd be like quick passion over and over and over again. If you guys are understanding what I'm saying, this could also be talking about going after. Honestly, guys, the way, the only way that I can see this, it's like passionately. And I, when I say passion, I mean, in the adult manner, doing something repetitively. So for those of you who are single, maybe you are getting lucky or you are experiencing joy in that manner if you are in a relationship maybe this is improving in your relationship um we're not trying to make this a spicy reading but uh with this this could also be talking about dating right and just being really passionate about the people that we're going on dates with guys i'm not sure the over and over and over again like for me especially when it's being confirmed by the 12 of wands i can only see that as passion all right or ambition, again, somebody who is really sure about pursuing you or impressing you. We have the three of wands. This is growth and expansion. For those of you who are in a relationship, this is leveling up your relationship, getting engaged, moving in, getting married, having a baby, um, getting a puppy, getting a kitten, whatever the hell you want to do in your own personal relationship. I honestly don't care how each individual person views a level up in their relationship. Everybody's different. What is a level up to me is going to be different than what's a level up to you. So curate this for yourself. For those of you who are single, we can see growth and expansion in a couple of different ways. Um, obviously if, if you're in a relationship, we can see growth and expansion in a couple different ways as well, especially if there is a man involved in this relationship. Um, so why is my mind in the gutter? <laughs> I'm so sorry, group one. Yeah. 
okay, growth and expansion, they're leveling up the relationship or expanding in the relationship, growing and expanding. If you're single, again, this could just be talking about have, having some good old adult fun. It could also be you growing and expanding your dating pool. Oh, we also have the seven of pentacles and the seven of pentacles, you guys, is talking about essentially we are putting a lot of hard work and effort into something. So if you guys are in a relationship, if I'm being honest, I'm just seeing your relationship improve, get better growing. Okay. It seems healthy. It seems fine. If you are single again, I really feel like somebody's pursuing you very relentlessly and it's not, I feel like in saying that people are gonna be like, oh my gosh, that's not cool. Well, no is no. And obviously, duh, no is no. Duh. Um, but I'm just seeing this as someone putting in a lot of effort, right? Somebody putting in a lot of time and energy, a lot of effort towards you. Perhaps you're doing this towards them. It could go both ways, right? Because I don't have an archetype here as of right now. We've we gotta cover up my girl so sorry guys that you can't enjoy this we have the 11 of wands all right this is the page so this is talking about going on a new passionate journey so for those of you who are single this is somebody new who is pursuing you very relentlessly for those of you who are in a relationship i for some reason it just again i'm getting so much adult energy oozing off of this group i don't know what it is i don't know why i don't know if it is the season to get it in but a passion is arising in this group we also have romance, though, arising. We've got the 12 of cups, which is the knight of cups. This is representing wearing your heart on your sleeve, being a bit of a romantic, being sensitive. Again, for those of you who are single, I would see this as just dating or somebody, again, pursuing you very seriously, putting in a lot of effort, making it known that they care about you, making it known that they want something more. Um, for those of you who are in a relationship, I would say, again, this is just health being infused into your relationship. Obviously, in order to keep a relationship healthy, you have to pursue your partner always. You have to keep the romance alive. You have to do these things to keep the relationship healthy and happy. Sure. And when I say do these things, I mean, be romantic. Now, what is being romantic? For me, being romantic, oh my God, I'm sorry, I hit the mic. Being romantic would be making time for me, buying me flowers taking me to dinner, other things, but that may not be what's romantic to you, right? So however you view being romantic in your relationship, here's the thing, right guys, when I say things like this, the reason why I'm saying it the way that I'm saying it is because again, like my version of what romance is, is going to be different from what your version of romance is. And I feel like oftentimes in these readings, people love to put words into my mouth. Um, so that's why I have to keep it more broad. Okay. There's definitely, for those of you who are single, I see you getting into a relationship. The reason why I'm saying that you guys is because the Hierophant talks about tradition. Okay. If you don't want to be in a relationship, guys, toodaloo. All right. Toodaloo. Don't listen to this because this is what this reading is. All right. It's, it's very much for the people who are single. I feel like somebody's pursuing you. I feel like there's a lot of passion happening in your love life. I feel like there is um, a lot of stability as well because the Hierophant is a very stable sign. For those of you who are in a relationship, again, I feel very much so that there is either marriage on the table, proposal on the, a proposal on the table, maybe even a child um, moving in together, signing contracts, making things official, you guys, taking big steps in regards to love. Not just big steps, but steps that are solid, okay? And firm and grounded. All righty. Can I please get interesting? All right. We've got a breaking point. This is limit, final straw, and overwhelmed. So there may be a breaking point in some of your guys' relationships. For those of you who are single, maybe this is a breaking point in a good way where it's like, I just can't take it anymore. Have you guys ever seen Sandlot? Um, the pool scene, which is not okay. Not condoning. <laughs> um but the pool scene where anyways if you don't know what I'm talking about then whatever if you do then you do the breaking point may not be necessarily a bad thing it could be in reference to passion and hitting a limit in regards to how much we can hold back 
with our desires. And again, I'm not saying this in an inappropriate manner or in a manner that would be seen as unlawful, right? Because obviously that's not okay, obviously. Um, But sometimes I do believe like adult tension between two people can only hit a certain limit before it's like, oh my gosh, like I need relief. Anyways, moving on. I'm so sorry, guys, that this is so intensely adult. We have abandoned. This is left out, walked away, and cold. Some of you guys may be dealing with your abandonment issues. Now, if I'm being honest, for those of you in a relationship, this could be something that you guys have dealt with in the past with this partner, not necessarily them um, breaking up with you. So sorry, you guys. Abandoned, like I was saying, this may be something that you guys have experienced quite literally in the relationship that you are currently in. And I would see this more so as this person walking out of arguments or walking away during a fight and not continuing with the conversation or the discussion or the argument. Um, This could also be being abandoned in childhood, causing issues in regards to your attachment style or in regards to how it is that you connect to other people, your fears around being abandoned. This could be causing you to be very anxious in relationships as well. For those of you who, I say those of you who are single, those of you who are in relationships, those of you who are single, I would see this as the same thing, right? You perhaps being very anxiously attached to people um, very immediately, maybe causing some issues in your love life that you should address. Anybody with abandonment issues, I want you to know that it's not your fault that you were abandoned. It's not your fault that you have these abandonment issues, right? But it is your responsibility to now handle it and move forward in a healthy manner, not just for other people, but for yourself, And then we've got twin flame. This is mirroring shared feelings and reflection. So essentially the way that I would see this, I would see this as a soul connection occurring for you guys. For those of you who are in a relationship, especially for those of you who are single, I would, I would back off of this word a little bit, just for safety purposes, okay? For emotional safety, for mental safety. For those of you who are in a relationship, I would think it's a lot more safe for you to take this card as it is, um, especially if the relationship is in is healthy, okay? And a lot of people think that twin flame relationships are unhealthy. Twin flame relationships are actually not unhealthy. They're just not very stable, right? They're very back and forth. But a twin flame relationship, there shouldn't be things like cheating or abuse or things like this there shouldn't be that shouldn't be and that's not your twin flame that's just toxic um that's your karmic which they get confused very often i'm gonna stop talking because i just know i'm putting my foot in my mouth i know people are getting mad it's okay be mad it's it's fine it's fine it's fine i promise it'll be fine this is talking about somebody mirroring you in your life now this could be a good thing this could be a really bad thing it depends on the situation we will continue i want here's the thing guys (laughs) Um, sometimes when somebody's mirroring you, it's not, it's not a good thing all the time. All right. And I don't want to put anybody on edge for unnecessary reasons, but I do want you to be aware and to just observe people's behavior, um, see if their words and their actions are aligning. That is the easiest way to tell if somebody is truly being genuine with their intentions towards you if their words and their actions are aligned and not for a short period of time, but for, I would say at least like six months, you know, that's just me though. Anyways, moving on, let's continue and see what's happening in your guys's love life. What is happening? Reject, firm rejection. All right, this could be you guys rejecting somebody. Um, This could be the rejection of a proposal. This could be a rejection of wanting the relationship to expand or wanting the relationship to grow. This could also be, quite frankly, somebody rejecting you guys, all right? So especially for those of you who are single. Oops. Interesting. We have the Prince of Cats, fashion and aggressiveness. Okay. Aggressiveness. The way that I would see this, you guys, I would, again, would see this as for those of you who are single, somebody who is relentlessly pursuing you, borderline being aggressive or borderline being like annoying. Here's the thing. This is okay. For some of you, you may be afraid to 
reject somebody or to be like, look, I thought I liked you at one point, but now I don't. My feelings changed. I think it's very productive, you guys, to be blunt and honest with people, especially those in our personal life. It's not really productive to do with people you don't know, right? But I do believe people in your personal life, especially people who you're not romantically interested in and they're romantically interested in you, I think it's very productive to be like, look, I'm not feeling it. Goodbye. All right. Some people say that's mean. I don't think it's mean. I think it's mean to drag somebody along and not be honest with them. Resisting. Face your heart. Don't follow blindly. Okay. So here's the thing. For those of you in a relationship, I want you to ask yourself, like, are you happy? Do you want to level up the relationship? Do you want to pursue the relationship? Sorry about Thackeray. He is at my feet. Um, What is it that you are wanting out of the relationship? Are you following your heart when it comes to this relationship? Thackeray, can you let me read? Thank you. Okay. Let's see. Can I minor setbacks, you guys may be experiencing minor setbacks in your love life. Can I please get, oh, okay. This has been hot since the first card, you guys. 100%, whether you're in a relationship, whether you're single, you are going to be experiencing more frisky energy in your love life, okay? This is not an adult reading, so I'm not gonna dive deep into this. If you guys want that, you can go purchase a reading on Etsy and I'll go ahead and give it to you spicy, but I'm not doing that right now. Okay, sure. That's that. Moving along. <laughs> um, what is coming up? Ooh. If I, ooh, if I ever put off my mask, will you accept another real me? Somebody may be revealing their true feelings towards you or their true selves. Here's the thing, guys, right? The scary thing about dating and relationships is I feel like oftentimes people are very crafty when it comes to the pursuit, but you can only wear a mask for so long. So for some of you, you may finally be seeing somebody's true face. Zachary, they're going to think that you are hungry and you're not. You had fish today. I'm choosing myself. For a lot of you, you could be choosing yourself in your love life, especially those of you who are single. Um, this is not a bad thing. So sorry about that. This is not a bad thing or a good thing. This is kind of neutral, right? It could also be, again, if you guys are experiencing that rejection, it could be because this person is choosing themselves, which again is not a bad thing. Nobody owes you their heart. Nobody owes you their love, their affection. And I know people don't like hearing that, but it's the truth. All right, let's see what else we can get. Can I please get a message? All right, there was something that flipped over as well. Red Rover, Red Rover. We have fate. This is a destined partnership. So for some of you, there is a destined partnership in the horizon for you. For those of you who are in a relationship, it's very possible that this is your destined partnership. This is your destined person. We have intuition. You already know the answer you seek. I feel like this is the case for a lot of people. And oftentimes people use tarot as confirmation of their intuition. That's something that I do. I don't necessarily need to use tarot to be like, what is going to happen? It's more so of like, am I right? about this happening we have patience and it says everything will unfold in divine timing okay for those of you who are single calm down relax it's okay things are going to unfold naturally for those of you who are in a relationship and you're like oh my god when are we gonna blah blah blah, 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 blah. it's gonna happen relax calm down i think the biggest killer in relationships is when you rush it when you rush a relationship i think that kills a relationship on the other hand, I think also when you drag your feet in a relationship, that also kills it because what does not grow dies. But don't rush, right? Don't rush. Be patient within a reasonable amount of time. We have an addiction here as well. It says an addiction is affecting this relationship. So it's very possible, you guys. Now, when I say addictions, it doesn't literally need to be a physical addiction. This addiction could also be entailing something like being addicted to work, being addicted to 
other things that are not substances. This could be de- being addicted to one another, perhaps or some codependency. The reason why I'm talking about codependency, guys, is because we have that abandon card, right? And oftentimes the result of being abandoned is having this really intense feeling of like wanting to cling on to people, wanting to cling on to things because we are so afraid of being alone. Um, so that may be something that is also playing a role in your guys's love life single or relationship can i get a, oh my god that was half the gosh dang deck spirit can i please get a message for group one okay oh my god i can't even show you guys this you see her face that's his face okay anyways passion a magnetic and seductive quality surrounds you at present enjoy it here's the thing guys right here is the thing if you are single and you are an adult and you enjoy doing adult things, congratulations. There will be an influx or more enjoyability in that realm of your love life. For those of you who are in a relationship or married or whatever it may be, congratulations. There is a injection of passion and excitement in your relationship. Okay. We also have, beware of what you are projecting for the qualities you admire and another are qualities you both possess equally. So wait, equally. So the qualities you don't like are also your own reflection. This card is essentially just saying, you guys, like you are like you receive what you are reflecting, right? And I feel like oftentimes we do tend to have partners who have a lot of qualities that are mirroring ourselves, okay? And maybe that's what that twin flame card is talking about. It's not necessarily talking about this person being your twin flame, but perhaps this person is in your life to show you, to hold a mirror up to yourself, to say, hey, you don't like this about this person? Hello, okay, look in the mirror, babes. The call is coming from inside the house. Okay, that's essentially what I would read this as. Just saying, okay. What is happening worth the wait? There's a lot of patience here, guys. Group <coughs> number one's love life. Some of you guys need a vacation. Some of you guys need to just freaking throw your hair up and have fun and stop putting so much pressure on yourself or your partner. It's time to disconnect from the world. This could even be saying like, get off social media, babe. Stop comparing yourself to others, especially, okay. Now this is no shade to anybody who does post their relationship on social media because I think that that's also like fine. But for those of you who are single and you're seeing people posting their relationship on social media and you're like, oh my God, I'm so jealous. Guess what? Social media is not real. Social media is a highlight reel. So if you are looking at that and you're like, oh my God, why is it not me? Why is everybody else? No, everyone is, no guys, no, okay? Just because someone posts a happy picture, that does not mean that they are happy. That doesn't mean they're not happy, but that doesn't mean that they're happy either. So like, don't, disconnect if you need to take care of your mental health especially for those of you who are single or who are in a relationship and you're like oh my gosh we've been together for a year and he still has not proposed or she doesn't want to move in with me or a b and c okay guys fit it to fit you i'm just giving examples people get so agitated when i say in general and i'm like how do do you want me to sit here for a gosh dang hour and go through all the variations of what it could be or your specific situation that's silly anyways well worth the waiting divine timing is at work in your love life here's the thing that i'm getting with you guys all right i'm just gonna give it to you straight here's the thing some of you are struggling with your abandonment issues or your attachment style that needs to be addressed in your love life there's a lot of passion going into your love life a lot a lot of physical passion a lot of excitement in the physical realm um, I'm also feeling like there is some type of holdup or some type of weight taking place in your love life. And again, if you are in a relationship, it feels like this. It feels like you are wanting progression or you are wanting to see growth in this area or that area and it's happening slowly or you're not seeing progress at all. The message to you is be patient um, to perhaps focus a bit more on yourself and how it is that you can fulfill yourself on an individual level. For those of you who are single, I do feel like there may be an influx of dating or an influx of more passion being infused in your love life. But again, be patient, be patient. Don't just settle for anybody. Don't just say, I'm going to get in a relationship with this person because I want to be in a relationship. No, wait for the right person. What else do I have for you guys? <clears throat> <clears throat> 
I think that's essentially it, group number one. So thank you guys so much for allowing me to read for you today. I really do appreciate it. If you guys want to book a personal reading, those are available in the description box. Again, if you are wanting a more passionate reading, let me know. Um, if they are out of stock, you could message me or email me and I will set something up. Thank you guys. I love you. And I'll talk to you guys really soon. All right. Bye. Hello, group number two. Welcome to your guys' reading. Let's go ahead and get started. Okay. What's happening in group two? So I love life. We've got stop it. I love this card. I wish I could show you guys this card. Unfortunately, there is the nakes in this card, but it's stunning. Um, okay. What is happening in group two's love life? Okay, so... Huh? Hold on, guys. Interesting. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Oh, my gosh. There's a few different groups here, you guys. Oh, my hair. There's a few different groups here, you guys. And I don't love it when that happens. The reason why I don't love it when that happens, you guys, is because I have multiple people, multiple groups I have to talk to. So please just wait until you hear your group. For some of you, you are in a relationship and you are happy. All right, and everything's great and grand, and you're like yippee ki yay! Congratulations, this will be an easy reading for you. Some of you guys are in a uh, single. Congratulations to you, this is going to be an easy reading. Some of you are in a relationship and you are miserable, or you know your relationship is on the verge of falling apart, or you're in a situation ship. This is not going to be an easy reading for you, okay? So I'm sorry about that. If you don't want to hear it, I would just click out. The Nine of Cups is representing happiness, contentness, satisfaction, a wish fulfillment for everybody except for the people who are on rocky grounds in their relationship or who are in a situationship. The reason why I'm saying that is because, yes, the Nine of Cups is beautiful. It's wonderful. But it's not, there's always this energy of a little bit of like, there could be more out there. And the reason why I'm highlighting that for the group who's unhappy in their relationship or who knows relationships on the rocks or who is in a situation ship is because based on the other cards, it's not necessarily feeling positive for that group of people. For those of you who are single, again, this just seems like I'm content, like I'm happy. For those of you who are in a relationship, and again, the relationship is going well, I'm not seeing necessarily any growth with this card. It's just representing you guys being happy. For those of you who, again, are struggling, I would see this as you were happy at one point the reason why i'm saying this to you guys is because we also have the four of cups here and the four of cups is very much representing an energy of receiving offers that we don't really want so the way that i see this is for those of you who are in unsatisfactory or un, feel unsatisfied in your relationships or you can tell the relationships on the rocks or you are in a situation ship I don't think this person wants to be with you. I think that this person feels, I think this person feels very lukewarm or non-excitable about being with you, okay? Um, for those of you who are in a happy, healthy relationship or single, I would see this as, well, no, for those of you who are in a relationship, I would see this potentially as having a lot of disinterest in other people. Um, I feel like when you're in a happy, healthy relationship, you tend to be very much disinterested in others. For those of you who are single, I would see this as you receiving romantic offers that you are not excited about. The King of Wands. The King of Wands, you guys, is talking about somebody who's very passionate. This is somebody who it's a adult card. It's a very frisque card. It's charming. It's charismatic. It's the energy of being a flirt. Okay. With this, for those of you, again, who are in an unhappy relationship or you're in a situation ship, I would see this. So sorry, you guys, I had to go blow my nose. I would see this as there being perhaps a little bit of promiscuity in the relationship or flirtatious energy being going towards other people for those of you again who are in a happy healthy relationship i see this as passion for those of you who are single again i see this as passion but there's it this is flirtation you guys this is flirty energy this is it could be either really good or really bad it just depends on what you are are you single are you in a relationship that's happy or are you in a relationship that's not happy are you in a situation ship if you are unhappy or you're in a situation ship and your partner being flirty 
that's not a good sign, right? Unless they're being flirty with you, then that's fantastic. But then I would assume that your relationship would be a little bit happier, right? For those of you who are in a relationship, this is not anything I'd be worried about. Again, this could be representing your partner being very charming, charismatic, and flirty with yourself. Um, For those of you who are single, this is literally just talking about somebody coming into your life who is flirty and charismatic. It's nothing to worry about unless, again, you are unhappy in your relationship or unless you were in a situation, then I would see that as potentially a negative thing. Or maybe not negative, but something to pay attention to. We have the hanged man here, okay? The hanged man is talking about a lack of movement. For those of you who are single, there may be a lot of stagnant energy in your love life. Just going to be very, very honest. There may be a lack of progression or a lack of movement. For those of you who are in a relationship, same thing. You could have recently been encountering a little bit of a lull or a little bit of a slump in your relationship. For those of you who are in a negative relationship or situationship, this may have been something that's been going on for a long time. Now we can go ahead and merge the reading. (laughs) There's change and transformation happening for all of you, okay? For some of you, this is going to be positive, and for others of you, this is going to be negative. For some of you, your relationship is going to progress forward and become more, you're going to feel more connected to this person because you're either moving in with them, or you are moving with them, or you guys are starting something new together. This could even be potentially like finding out you're pregnant, um, again, choosing to like make the relationship serious in one way, shape or form. For others of you who are in a negative relationship or who are in a situation, I could see this as closing that chapter. The reason why I'm reading it this way, you guys, is because again, depending on the energy of the relationships, this could be really positive or really bad. So again, it just really does depend on where you are at as an individual in your love life, which it's like that with all readings, but like with this specifically, can I get a message? All right, guys, we have Scorpio. This is representing transformation as well. So again, regardless of if you were single, if you are in a relationship, whatever the heck is going on in your love life, there's change going on. And for some of you, it's going to be for the better. And for some of you, it's not. We've got Aries here. So this is action taking place. It's interesting that the two Mars signs showed up to me. Mars is the planet of war. It's also the planet of getting frisky. It's also the planet of um, forward moving action. Action, action, action. Okay, you guys. So the way I would like you guys to see this is your love life. The pace, the momentum is picking up. Whatever this hanged man energy was in your love life, this is going to be no more. It's dissipating. It's finito. Okay, goodbye. It's not here. It's leaving. So there's a lot of progression. Okay. And I feel like for a lot of you, again, the energy previously may have been more lukewarm or more just like so-so. And I feel like it's picking up again, either for the best or for the worst, just depending on where you are at. Can I get a message for group number two? Okay. We have an apology. You can expect an apology you want to hear. For some of you, very possible. We have a stability here as well. This relationship can stand the test of time. Again, for some of you. Self-care. Clear your energy field and focus on yourself before acting. This is for the people who are in a bad relationship or who are in a situation and for those of you who are single. Obviously, if you're in a relationship, you should take care of yourself as well, but this is specifically for those in a bad relationship or situation You need to pull back your energy, babes, focus on you so that you can make a decision that is proper moving forward. We also have mastery. You've learned the spiritual lesson. No, you have not. You have not learned the spiritual lesson. If you are still in this relationship that you don't want to be in, if you are still in the situation that you know is going nowhere, you have not learned the lesson, bestie. And that is why the transformation and change is taking place. That is why the fool is here. That is why the six of swords is here, because these two cards are saying to you, guess what? It's got to change. Something's got to change. Something's got to evolve. Okay. We're not going to just sit here and do this whole loop-de-loop thing. (sighs) So (laughs) 
can I please get a message for group number two in regards to what is coming up in their love life? Two weeks which I feel like is a little irrelevant. There may be something going on in your relationship in the next two weeks. Okay. This is slowly turning into a reading for the people who hate, for the people who are in unhealthy relationships and for the people who are in situationships. Narcissist and karmic lessons. Why are you still entertaining this narcissist? Why are you still entertaining this person who you know is a karmic, who you know is here purely to teach you something? Why are you not taking in the lesson, guys? I am not trying to be aggressive with you. I am not saying that you are wrong for continuing this cycle because there's a reason why you are. But what is it that you are missing? I want to help you get out of the maze. I feel like some of you guys are stuck in this maze, again, either with this unhealthy relationship, with this situationship. Maybe this is even a reoccurring pattern in your life. And we just need to address why. What are we missing? What do we need to recognize to get ourselves out of this maze? Obviously, if you're in a healthy, happy relationship, neither of those cards are relevant for you. We also have secrets involved. <laughs> secrets involved, guys. You should not be holding secrets from your partner. If you feel like somebody is withholding something from you, that's obviously not healthy. Um, and again, I don't think this is for the people who are in healthy, happy relationships. Honestly, if you're in a healthy, happy relationship, I would skip out of this. I think your relationship is going to be evolving. I think your relationship is going to be progressing forward. If you're single, um, I think again, your love life may be experiencing more of a pickup, but I think that this message specifically is for those of you who are in unhealthy relationships and situationships who need a bit of a, a rattle, a cage shake, if you will. All right. Can I please get um mm -mm. Okay. We have reassure, persuade, clarify, identify. This is a pacify. No. Nope. Here's the thing, guys. If you have to persuade yourself, if you have to talk yourself into being in a relationship with somebody, or you have to talk yourself into staying in contact with somebody, what are you doing? Like, why? Why are you doing that? Uh, seriously, why are you doing that? You should not be in a relationship or in a situation that you have to sit there and be like, oh my God, why am I with this person? Or like, well, they suck with this and that and this and A, B, and C, but... I really love this about them and convince yourself to be with somebody who you know is not not the vibe like what are you doing okay we also have humorous loyal devoted wild frantic wild and frantic doesn't feel like something that we should be participating in when it comes to our relationships the humorous and the loyal and the devoted great lovely again i feel like that part is for those of you who are in healthy happy relationships okay there is such a split in this group we have determination this is courage perseverance no more indecisiveness firmness get it together get it together group two Stop being indecisive. Stop going back and forth. And I know this is easier said than done, but you need to get it together. You owe it to yourself to get it together. We have revenge. This is punishment, compensation, counteract. I am not above revenge. I am merely a simple human. You don't have to be above revenge either, guys. But, but... I very much discourage it. I very much discourage it because I do not believe that this is productive in regards to us moving forward, right? So this may be a mindset that you guys are currently in. Some of you may be very angry with your current situation in regards to your love life. Some of you may feel very discouraged. I want you to know that you hold more power than you know. You hold more power than you know and you have the ability to improve your love life. You have the ability to move on but we got to we got to change up what it is that we're doing if we keep doing the same thing over and over and over again or we keep going back to the same person over and over and over again we're not going to see any different results you guys we have salt we have solitude calm down listen to your inner voice reduce anxiety okay some of you guys need to be alone 
again, if you're in a healthy, happy relationship, I'm happy for you. Um, I don't believe this is your reading. <laughs> I think this group needs to be alone. The love that you need to receive is love from yourself. We have apothecary. Forced sin, cunning, the dark side of human. <sighs> I think this group needs to be alone. I really, really do. And I'm not saying that because it's like, oh, I want group two to be lonely, but I just think that there is a lot of change that needs to take place. I think there's cycles we have to break prior to us finding our happiness. I don't think I deserve you. If somebody, here's the thing, guys, sometimes this could be very sweet. Very rarely is it very sweet. If somebody is telling you to your face, if somebody is looking at you and saying, I don't deserve you, believe them. Don't sit there and go, oh, that's so sweet. No, it's not sweet. It's not sweet, all right? The snake is telling you, I'm going to bite back up. And you're not listening. You're going, oh my gosh, you're being so sweet. You're giving me a little rattle. No, you guys, the snake is trying to warn you they're about to bite. Back up. Go find someone who's like, oh my gosh, you're amazing. We're such a, we're such a perfect match, right? Why would your perfect, why would somebody who is meant for you, why would your soulmate go, oh my God, you deserve so much better than me? I hope the frick not. I hope, you know what? Actually, thank you for telling me. Goodbye. I miss the old you. I miss us. Guess what? It doesn't matter. The old you is not here. If somebody is preventing you, if somebody's trying to hold you back from growing and evolving, that is not your person. Oftentimes, people say things like this. Oh, I miss the old you. I miss how you used to be. You want to know why? Because the old you was weak because the old you allowed them to walk all over you because the old you was easy to manipulate because the old you was easy to walk on. No. Uh, I've been giving you sorry guys i've been giving you love devotion and received nothing but your criticism and pain <laughs> this may be what you guys are currently experiencing um this also could be coming from this other person who is convincing themselves or convincing you that they have poured into you when really all they've done is drained <sighs> and then here we go this is why i just said that your energy heals me it's not your job. It's not your job to heal them. It's not your job to fix them. This is not the reading I was hoping to do today, group two. I'm very sorry. Again, I'm very sorry that this is a heavier reading. Can I please get a message for group two in regards to this person, this situation? All right, you guys, I'm so sorry for the interruptions that continue throughout this reading. The past is now behind you. Release it and embrace new possibilities. A new path is available to you. Follow it with faith. You guys have an opportunity to stop this pattern, to break this habitual chain, to leave this person, to move on. You guys have an opportunity for a fresh start. Are you going to take it? We have trust as well. And this is transformation occurs through acceptance. Once you accept the current situation, it will automatically transform. No matter how much you love somebody, you guys, you cannot change them. You cannot love somebody into loving you. You cannot love somebody into treating you right. You cannot love somebody into loving themselves, into wanting to help themselves, into being a better person. You just cannot. So, and I, you know what? I hate to bring people in my life into this but i always say to actually i say this to a group of people in my life it's okay if you want to stay if you want to stay with this person in this situation that is fine but you have to stop getting upset because at this point you are choosing you are choosing with your whole chest to stay in the situation knowing this is how they are knowing this is the end result Stop being surprised at their behavior because this is a pattern. So you have a choice. You can either deal with it and be miserable or deal with it and continue to be upset or deal with it and continue to be disappointed or you can move on. But if you're going to choose to stay and to continue to stay in this pattern or in this cycle with this person, you cannot ask people to 
You cannot expect anybody to change for you. You just can't, guys. And I know it sucks. And I know that this message is not fun to hear, but it is what it is. Can I get a mess? We have a wedding here. See, this is not helping. See, gosh dang it. Spirit, guys, those of you who are still watching, who are in a healthy, happy relationship, you have a wedding here. Yay. This is commitment. This is the situation involves marriage. Congratulations to all of you. I'm very happy. And for those of you who are in an unhealthy relationship, I want you guys to know that this is what you are stopping yourself from receiving. Not necessarily the marriage, but the happiness. You see how she looks up at him and she looks so just happy. She looks like content and safe. And I don't know, guys, I just personally very much feel maybe she doesn't look like that. She looks like that to me. Anyways, the point is, if you were wanting commitment and you've been in a situation where you're not receiving it or you've been in a situation where you're not receiving the happiness that you want or the level of commitment that you want, if it's been a cycle, if it's been a reoccurring event, you are the only person responsible for this cycle at this point. We have unrequited love and it says there's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. And that is facts on facts on facts. Where else do I go from here? I think that is it, guys. I'm gonna, did I already pull an astrology card? I did. All right. All right, guys. That is all the cards that I'm doing today. Um, thank you so much for allowing me to read for you. I'm sorry that this reading was all over the place and I'm sorry that it was rough. I do not believe that this is for anybody who is in a relationship. Again, some of you in a relationship chose this pile. Your relationship's fine. Congrats. <laughs> for those of you who are single, um, I also do not think this relation or this relationship, I don't think this reading is necessarily for you either. For those of you who are in a relationship that's unhappy or in a situation or you're on shaky grounds with somebody, you have to let it go. You have to move on because I just don't think this person's good for you. And you're having an opportunity to have a new path, to have a new start. For some of you, this person is in your past. If you're single, this person is in your past and you're still having trouble letting go because you have not received an apology. That apology is not coming. That apology is also not necessary, okay? So you owe it to yourself to move on, to move forward. So group number two. That's what I have for you guys. I'm sorry again, this was so heavy. I hope it was helpful to whoever it reached, to whoever it resonated with. Thank you guys for allowing me to read for you today. I appreciate you. I love you. And that is all I got. So bye. Hello to my final group, group number three. Welcome to your guys' reading. Let's go ahead and jump into it. What's coming up next in love for group three? Beautiful. We have a union of two like-minded people. A union of two like-minded people, two people who are very intelligent, two people who are very wise, two people who are pragmatic and practical, also two people who are independent and unafraid of being alone, okay? So that is the first two cards we will talk about, guys. And I am reading this out of order. There's a story here. We have the Ace of Pentacles. This is talking about a golden opportunity. I'm not sure exactly who's in a relationship and who is single here, but this golden opportunity for those of you in a relationship could be seen as an opportunity to grow the relationship or to progress the relationship in a positive manner for those of you who are single. I would see this as a golden opportunity in regards to getting into a relationship or meeting somebody very significant or special. Not saying you're getting into a relationship, but I see this as meeting somebody very special for those of you who are single. We have the three of pentacles as well. And the three of pentacles is talking about coming together with others to grow something outside of ourselves. I see this as you guys collaborating with a partner romantically to obviously develop a strong relationship, right? Emotional maturity is here, you guys. Emotional maturity is here. We also have ambition and a willingness to push forward. Um, Again, a lot of intelligence is showing up in this reading. And then there's a hint of something from the past, a hint of something from the past, you guys, okay? 
I feel like for this group, I want another deck. For some reason, these cards with this group is just not exactly what I'm wanting. Can I please get a message for group number three in regard to their love life? Okay. We have another King of Swords. The King of Swords already popped up, you guys. Like I said, two like-minded people who are very intelligent. We have the sun here, and the sun represents happiness, success, joy, love, all the beautiful things that you can imagine come with the sun. So again, I do believe that your love life group three is blessed. There is some type of sun energy around your love life. There's also a surprise event around your love life as well, perhaps a surprising person coming in. We have the hanged man, which is representing a lack of movement, a lack of progression forward, which is why I was saying here with this Ace of Pentacles that I do believe there's going to be a golden opportunity to progress the relationship or to potentially enter into a relationship. And then we have the Ten of Wands, guys, and this is representing an energy essentially of having more responsibilities on your back. I think all relationships require work. I think all relationships are a responsibility. I think if you're getting into a relationship and you're like, I have no responsibilities towards this person, then you probably should not be in a relationship or you're just very young or you're just very immature. Relationships require responsibility, right? True. Let's keep going. I'm not feeling the tarot with this deck. I feel like this message is very like clear cut. A union between two like-minded people, success, love, emotional maturity, growth, an opportunity to move the relationship forward. Yeah, guys, this is good. We've got Juno here. This is the soulmate. This is literally the Astra that talks about your soulmate. So I would encourage you guys to check out your Juno, see if it's in the second house. If it is, that is relevant to this reading. Um, finding out where your Juno is in general, though, may be prevalent or helpful for you guys in regards to who this person is, or if this relationship is the relationship that you should be engaging in. The Juno card for me, you guys, is very much, again, telling me that this group, if you are in a relationship, you are in the correct relationship, congratulations, things should be going great. If you are single, I see this again as you coming into union with somebody who's very like-minded to yourself, like somebody who's very similar to you, someone who you'd essentially be very compatible with. We have the second house of resources. So finances may be also playing a role in this relationship. I don't know if it's this person is financially very blessed, if you are financially very blessed, or if it's like this relationship in general, you guys are going to grow financially together. It's very possible. We have a dignified here and this says strength. All right, you guys, strength is obviously talking about there being strength in the relationship and being dignified. Again, this seems all very positive, you guys. I, there's not a lot of juice here in this reading. Everything seems very black and white, which is good, right? Like it's super amazing that there's so much positive energy here. This relationship is strong. You guys can carry these burdens together. You guys can carry these responsibilities together. For those of you who are single, prepare to be surprised. Stay open. Some of you who are listening to this have been single for a while and you're like, Cena, it's not going to happen for me or I've given up hope or I'm tired. That's okay. You're allowed to get tired. You're allowed to give up hope. Um, remain open to be surprised. Allow the universe, allow God to surprise you because I do believe that surprise is coming on its way for those of you who are single. For those of you who are in a relationship, I think you are very much aware that this person is your person and you're just looking for confirmation. So can I have... A message. Well, well, well. See, this is not it. Different pages. You and this person don't share the same vision. I think that is completely and totally incorrect. I think it's actually the exact opposite. I think you and this person share the exact same vision for your future. I think you and this person are quite literally energetically matched perfectly. Um, it is very possible that perhaps in your past, you guys dealt with this where you were in relationships or you were dealing with people who had a desire for different things. Somebody who was like, oh, I don't want marriage or oh, I don't want kids. And there's nothing wrong with not wanting marriage or not wanting kids. I think that's completely and totally 
like duh, you know, okay, duh. Um, you're allowed to not want certain things, but when two people who want different things are in a relationship, that doesn't work. If I were to enter into a relationship with somebody who didn't want to get married, that would be a very difficult relationship for me to be in, right? So different pages is interesting to me. I feel like that has more to do with past energy than current energy, you guys. The reason I'm saying that is because we have passion here. Try something you've never done before. You guys may be experiencing an increase of passion in your love life with your current partner or with this new person who's coming in. Marriage. This relationship is moving towards sacred union. For those of you who don't believe in marriage, that's completely okay. You do not need to believe in marriage. There are people here who do. And this message is for the people here who do. If you don't believe in marriage, you could just not accept this card. Um, but this relationship, regardless, is headed towards something that is more solid, stable, grounded, long-lasting, if you want. Sure. Okay. Can I have a message for group? I don't know how this group is doing it. I'm not, you guys, the last reading was so rough. I'm not going to lie. I had to take a minute to like, because I was just like, the energy of last, the last group was just honestly not it. I was like, that feels so bad. Um, and this group is amazing. We have Romeo. This is idealistic lover, passion, rashness, quickly changing moods, idealistic lover. Okay. So if you are in a relationship, confirmation for you that this is your ideal lover. If you are single, again, prepare to be surprised. Prepare to be pleasantly surprised. We have a confession of love. Say, I love you. For those of you who are in a relationship and have not yet said these words to one another, this may be coming very quickly. For others of you, this may be representing some type of declaration of love, such as an engagement. For those of you who are single, it's very possible that this is quite literally talking about, again, you meeting somebody, you falling in love, get excited, you guys, prepare to be surprised. All right. Can I get a message for group? We have to think about it. I think this is more so in reference, again, with this, the quality of person that's coming in, somebody who's thoughtful, somebody who, again, intellectually, I think you guys are on the same level, the same page. We have social media connection. Some of you guys may be meeting this person via social. Lopsided effort. Lopsided effort. It's important that we obviously are experiencing a relationship in which we are both putting in the same amount of effort. If you are in a current relationship right now and this person is not giving you the same effort that you are giving them, this is not the person that we are talking about today. And you should prepare to meet somebody who's going to be a better match for you, to meet somebody who is going to put in the effort that you are putting into this relationship that is not putting into you. Um, for those of you who are single, again, avoid people who are not giving what you are giving them. If the energy is lopsided, if the effort is lopsided, it's not a relationship that you should be participating in. And obviously, you guys, I don't know if you guys can tell, I have had it up to here with everybody putting words into my mouth today. Um, there's nuance to every conversation. Obviously, I'm not going to sit here and go over for an hour and a half about all the nuance to everything that I'm saying. So... If you're in a relationship with somebody who is giving you all they can give you, and it may not be the same thing as what your friend is experiencing or the same thing of what this person is, like, like every situation is different and I completely and totally understand that. Okay, guys, there's nuance to everything. But in general, if somebody is not giving you the same amount of effort, that's not a situation you should be involved in. Okay. Okay. Can I please get a message for group three in regards to what is coming up for them in love? We have surrender. 
At times we must surrender the old before something new can enter our lives, let go, and all will work out. This is for those of you who are single. It's time to surrender anything from our past. For those of you who have been single for a while, it's time to revisit things from the past and ensure that we have properly let go. Okay. We also have... Okay, let's show this face. Acceptance is the key to inner peace. At times we must accept that things are as they are. There's no point in trying to change what is beyond our control. There's no point in trying to change what is beyond our control. So if you are single right now, trying to force a relationship that is not comfy is not going to be productive for you whatsoever. Do not force something that is not meant for you, okay? What is meant for you will come in due time. You need to be patient. Ooh, we also have... Interesting. We have power here. You instinctively, you, you instinctively know what is right for you and you have the power to say no or walk away at any time. All right. Getting into our last deck. This is such a short reading, guys. I'm sorry. We have passion and we have this could be the one. So allow your heart and soul to sing with joy and joy. All right. This is the second passion that showed up and we have this could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner you seek. So again, you guys, if you are single, you don't need to believe me. You don't need to take this if you don't want to take this. All I want to say is please remain open. Please do not close off your heart. Please allow the universe, please allow God to surprise you. Okay, leave room to be surprised. If you are in a relationship and you are looking for confirmation that this person is your person, you are correct. And I do believe this relationship is headed down a road of strongly committing to one another whether that's marriage whether that's moving in whether that's a baby whatever the frick you are comfortable with it i honestly do not care what you want as an individual i'm happy for you no matter what um anyways this could be the one i feel like I want to pull from this deck. I haven't pulled from this deck for, for anybody else, but I want to pull for this deck for you guys. Okay. Again, intellectually, you and this person are on the same page. Congrats. With that, we have romance here as well. Romance is a sacred power. Let it come to me this hour. You group three are experiencing romance. You group three are experiencing love. We have good cheer as well. And it says, with a kind heart and humor free, may good cheer rule. So mote it be. One more of these and then I will let you guys go. Finances and career. Didn't money was showing up somewhere else here as well. But financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. You guys, oh, the second house. So you guys, again, financially, this may be someone that you end up going into business with as well. We have soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate. Congratulations. I I feel a bit bold to say that this person is your soulmate. It's possible, obviously. But I will say that this is somebody who I feel like energetically you guys are on the same page. I feel like you guys are very much compatible. You guys want to grow and move in the same direction in life. It seems all very positive. And again, for those of you who are single, prepare or don't. But this person is coming in and I don't know, I just hope that you guys remain open and you allow your heart to stay open so that when this person does come in, you're not closed off and you don't shut them out. Um, all right, group number three. Thank you guys so much for being such an amazing group, such an easy read today. Um, I'm sending you guys love. If you're looking for a personal reading, I have those available in the description box. If they're out of stock, you can email me, message me on Etsy. Thank you guys. I love you. That's all I got. Show. Bye.